welcome back to English. Uh, today is a very important day. Uh, so let's start by looking at our week uh, or our bend at a glance here. Um, let's see. So if we have a look here and we look at Tuesday, March 24th, this is our 12th day of virtual learning and it's session nine in the unit. And our objective for today is to to see how we use all we know about essay writing to draft a literary essay about theme. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. You're going to spend uh, most of the class period using the tools you have to write a flash draft. Okay, and at the end of the class, you'll be submitting pictures of the notebook pages. So you're writing this draft in your notebook, and you'll submit the notebook pages at the end of the class. Uh, tomorrow, when you work on making revisions, you'll be uh, typing it into a Google Doc. Uh, but for now, all the writing you do today will be uh, in your notebook. Okay. okay, so you see tomorrow we'll be revising, and then on Thursday we'll be looking at how we're using quotes. Friday is more revision, uh, looking for gaps in the draft. And then based on what Miss B and I see, uh, of your work at that point, we'll make a decision on what to do next Monday. And your final draft will be due at the end of the class next Tuesday. So we still have a week to go with this. So let's get right into our mini lesson here. So today's goal is to see that writers draw on everything they know about writing essays when they sit down to write. And they often draft quickly, piecing together the necessary parts their ideas and evidence into a logical structure. Okay, so if you get confused about logical structure here, what we're referring to uh, is an outline or um, the boxes and bullets structure that we looked at earlier uh, in the unit. Um, you might want to go back and look at your notes on the three little pigs um, if you're confused. Because in that lesson, uh, there is a boxes and bullets chart that we used and it may be helpful today. So here are some things to remember about writing a draft. Okay, now this is a first draft, so you're writing it quickly. This is what all writers do when they do a draft. That's why it's called a draft. Okay, don't let um, any kind of editing or revision slow you down today. Okay, if you need to write a word in Korean, that's okay. Just write it in Korean. This is not the final draft. It is like a tiny sketch of what will become a big piece of art. Okay, so the goal is that for the entire time you're writing, you're getting all your ideas down there. Okay, you also have a lot of resources to use. Okay, and this is what writers draw on when they sit down and write something. So you guys have your notebooks, you have a mentor text that I've attached to the file or to the assignment, it looks like this here. You also have the argument writing checklist that's attached, and that is down here, it looks like this. And you also have your feedback from the Bend One essay. All right, so as, as you write today, you need to think back to the conferences we had in Bend One, the, the things you shared with your partners and what they shared with you, uh, and also the feedback that I gave you on the assignment you submitted. So I tried to give detailed feedback so that when you look at it, immediate, immediately you're thinking about what you can do in your next essay. So in, in a lot of the feedback I wrote uh, in the next essay, let's try to do something. Let, let's try to explain our evidence more clearly, or, or let's try to um, explain the significance of a quote instead of asking the reader to figure it out on their own. Um, so today you're going to bring all of this into your essay writing. At the end of class, I'll be asking you to reread your draft, submit a picture of it. Okay. Also, if you have any questions while you're writing, just send me a, a message immediately. Okay. So good luck today, and I look forward to seeing your work. Thank you.